the three, the two, the one. We are live. This is 2OF Entertainment. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> oh, it's so it's so beautiful music in, in in all these intros. David does a good job. David's David's um, he's actually been sick, so he, he yes. so he's, he's been doing redoing everybody's intros and redoing the graphics and redoing everything. So because he's oh. been sick and he's got and his partner is sick, she's got COVIDs. So because oh. COVIDs, he's kind of like he says, and then he got it, so he got it, so he's like about 50%. So he's like, I can't really do anything. So he says, so I just play with graphs. So all the graphics for all the shows now are changing. The music. Yeah, the but co COVID, COVID nowadays is uh, influenza, you know, it, it, yeah. it's a flu only. Yeah. So, so, so they both got it. So they were supposed to be on holiday this week. So he's still getting his holiday. Oh. It's just not the holiday he wanted. So, no, you know, no. so it's one of those things. Oh, then he's, good. he's not in his ad hoc mu uh, mode. No, no, he's in his, I just want to get better mode. So, you know, yeah. music, so yeah, he'll be back. But I like that he's, I mean this in a good way. I like that he's sick because all the graphics are getting updated and redone. And we did um, ah. a show yesterday and it was, and he, we did those. Like he doesn't tell us now, he just puts them in there and then we do a show and we're like, hey, those graphics are brand new. So it's very cool. He, he's bored, of course. Yeah, because he's sick. He can't do anything. And he yeah. doesn't, as he put it to me, I don't have the strength to do the show. But he has the strength to sit at his computer and do graphics all day. And I'm like, all right, listen, whatever you got to do. <laughs> so it works well for everybody. So we're all good. Very good. So, very yeah, good. So it's very exciting. So how you been? So your show last week, by the way, on, on the yeah. Norwegian uh, Child uh, Protection Agency, got yeah. a whole bunch of mixed reviews. People, Some people were for our guests. Some people were against our guests. Yeah. So it was very interesting uh, to read all the comments he, about, about Yeah, it. but he's, he's controversial, uh, you yeah, know, no, uh, no, and, um, <laughs> and of course, if, um, and I think we have uh, two, two little controversial people because um, ev everybody is saying, okay, let's have, um, everybody wants to be woke. Yeah, be agree. Don't be ugly right. with each other. Be 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 kind. And right. I, I heard it in politics so many times. Damn it! I mean what I'm saying, and I'm going to say it from 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 the stool. Right. And 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 people are saying, no, you can't do that. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Of course yes. you can, but yeah. there's people that are so conform. Or confirm, I don't know what, uh, the, the the right English American name, but but they just want to follow all the others, and they have a kind of a committee that okay, we all act the same, and right. nobody not notice us. So it's acting. So basically, acting by committee. Yeah, yeah, it's. And if someone is uh, saying something um, that is not uh, uh, rehearsed from before, oh, or God yeah. forbid. Oh, I know. It's I don't know. I think <laughs> I think we've got to become a we've become a society today. John Stewart said it best about twenty years ago. He called it the pussification of America, but it's the pussification of the globe. We've become yeah. a we've become a society where. You're afraid to say, I think you're an idiot, or I think you're this, or I think you're that, because you're afraid someone's going to cancel you or going to be that, that hurt my feelings. I don't care. And as I told people, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Your feelings mean nothing to me. Okay. I'm, my feelings I'm, mean nothing to somebody else. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm proud else, to say, I'm proud to say I have enemies. Yeah, I, I have people that don't like me. I don't know if they're enemies, but they don't like me. Ah, I'm they're not enemies. Somebody, I I'm, not, I'm not worried about somebody's feelings. If I say something, and I hurt your feelings, or if I say something and I offend you, I'm more offended that I that you took that as an offense. If you go, that yeah. offended me. I'm like, get your head out of your ass. Like this is yeah. a, this is a world. We're adults. People speak. 
and not everything somebody says is directed. I, I was at a dinner a couple nights ago, and I, we were talking, and someone said something, and you could just see one of the girls' faces just was like, ah. and I literally oh, said, yeah. that yeah. wasn't directed at you, you friggin' moron. It was just yeah. a statement that was made. If you take yeah. offense to it, you're an idiot. Yeah, and then of course that was meant to her. Um, but I'm just saying, you yeah. know, like people are just like, <laughs> very she sensitive didn't understand about, that. you know, like it, it's like if you're that stupid, then yeah, you should be offended by everything. But I mean, we've got to. I think we have to toughen up the people, and and following our leaders like sheep is ridiculous, and that's kind of what's happening now. Like everyone's just like a sheep. It's just sort of like stick your head in the sand, become an ostrich, and you're done. That's crazy. But but also on personal level, I I, yeah. I, I see people when when they are, you know, uh, I had several companies. I I had some business flight with with others, and oh. and uh, they they feel kind of ashamed because I'm talking with everybody, you know, and oh. and oh, don't 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 don't. Uh, oh. I'm not going to travel with you again if you, if you, if you talk with people. That's crazy. See, I, are you are you, are you are you stupid? That's I, I could live in, in on an airport f for a week. Mm -hmm. It would be enormously all the deals, all the things, and life we know for once. Well, uh, 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 life is not predictable. Right. That's true. That's a hundred percent sure because then you could just set up uh, your life when you're uh, 21 and uh, just go on and and you you know that you will set your goals and blah blah blah. If it's, it was that easy, it wouldn't be that fun, right? At the game, no. of, it's, it's the game of life. And then we had this discussion at Adam on the eve yesterday, actually. Ah, um, you did. We I kind, didn't get to hear we it. Kind of, I'm very upset, but Adam will get over it. But anyway, um, we, um, but, but it was, we were talking about the game, the game of life. It's a game. And Unfo yeah. unfortunately or unfortunately, at the end of the game, it ends the same way. You die. Yeah. So as I said to them on the show, I said, you know, at the end of the day, that what you really want to do in this, in this game, in your life, this whether you live yeah. to be five years old or 5,000 years old, you're not living yeah. forever, is yeah. you just enjoy the game. Right? Mm. Enjoy this, whatever, whether it's, it's, we're in a matrix, we're in a hologram, we're in whatever we are. You just yeah. enjoy it. And when you're done, you're done. And if you believe in God or gods or the universe or the absolute and the list goes on and on and on, yeah. Yeah. then you'll go and you'll come back and do whatever again. So yeah. it's one of those. And so to me, it's just a game. It is what it is. You can, you can try and you can fight and you can do, but really, it's going to give you what it's already, it's going to give you what it's going to give you. So you can, all you have to do is be present and accept what it, what happens. So if I'm doing something and something comes unexpectedly and I'm like, I take that as a good thing, it's a good thing. If I take it as a bad thing, then I make my own bad thing, right? So that's all. But, yeah, but, but, but you, can, you can be lucky and you can be strong. There's people that are very lucky. I agree with that. And, and uh, good luck, I think, you know, I spoke with a psychiatrist once. I, I know him. I didn't go to him. Um, anyway, he said that, you know, uh, Morton, if you think with your left brain and, and, mm -hmm. and do that, you give more, you know, uh, this thing, uh, uh, the left brain uh, is, you know, you can hold for uh, one nostril and give more oxygen to... to um, something in, in your head that, that you will think more more creative uh, advertising people use that sometimes if okay. if maybe i've mistaken and it's uh, white powder I, I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah 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 uh, but 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 anyway i can take take me in a, as an example okay. i was at the hospital i was very sure something was wrong with my heart okay and i had this uh in into my arm and they they were into i saw on screens they were into my heart and and looked and and then um this doctor he wasn't that uh, he was kind of young and he said oh shit!" and he ran 
that's not a very good sign. That's usually um, not a good. Let's well, say to go to the bathroom. Uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but 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 the two ladies who were there, I yeah. said to them, "Come on, more helium to me." Right, right, right. Uh, you know, it's not helium, but uh, uh, volume. You know, right. I, I, I need to. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I need, I need to. And they were laughing. We having, we were having fun. And then uh, they have a lot of operations, or, or, or the same, uh, all over in in, in this um, area. And right. in the middle sits this um, uh, professor. Okay. And he and he came back with with the younger doctor, and he said, "Ah, I guess you never saw this before, because this patient, I'm not a patient, you moron. I'm, my name is Morton." I said, right. I, "I just had to, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, doctors. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, uh, and and um, they show me, and he." Uh, he learned something the the, the new uh, heart uh, doctor, right. d doctor because I in the back of uh, aorta it's right, uh, you right, know right. the 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 big uh, thing yeah uh, that was it was grown up a new one oh that's interesting and the old one cut itself by uh you know i have i have pictures of it yeah. I, I can show you right. it, it it's not like the, the grandpa right. um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you actually the, have proof i got it yeah 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 and and they call it intelligent organs wow that's very cool this this professor said if you are if you are um, light-minded, if you don't worry about too much, if you are thinking a lot with your left uh, hemisphere uh, brain, right, you will get easier off, or your body can fix itself. Wow, that's pretty cool. I worry because about nothing, so I must be my body must fix itself on a daily. I don't worry about nothing either, but I don't like when they are into my body and. Uh, I only like it if when I go to Hilga's house of pain and they get into my body. That's a whole different story. That I'm okay with. But uh, other than that, no, I'm not a fan of going to, to doctors and hospitals unless I actually have to. Like I go for my annual physical. Yeah. And, and you know, I, they can tell me I'm going to live. And then yeah. my doctor does the same thing every year. You're still smoking cigars, yes. You're drinking scotch, yes. And then they do my blood yeah. pressure, my and, they, and my, they do the thing with the arteries and they go, you have no problems. I'm like, I know. And you're like yeah. you're healthier than people in their 20s and, and then the other thing that always blows them away and i i don't know why but they go what medication are you on nothing no really what do you want i'm like nothing and they're like wow. you, i'm like oh, what the fuck do i need to be on medication for then they, and they're like well, we have people in their 20s and 30s. So the fact that they're pussies and they have to be on medic i can't help you for that and really hmm. what you just said is a true point i think if you take care of yourself and you know your body, you're, you can be healthy. You know what I mean? I don't think you need, like, people take cholesterol pills. They take this pill. They take that pill. I'm like, seriously? Yeah. I don't... I, that's and great all this pill will... will all, all, all this pill... Pills will you. crash. Right. It, it kills you. You know? Yeah. It, it, it will in, in the end. It, it's what, a dangerous cocktail. Right, it screws up your liver, it screws up your kidneys, and I'm the, listen. Yeah. I'll take antibiotics if, if they give it to you for a week. I don't care. Like I'm figuring yeah. those are okay, right? Because I don't take them all the time. But I remember when my mom got out of the hospital when she had after her breast cancer surgery, and the doctor gave her there. She had like sixty different bottles of pills to take. Yeah, and, and my mom was one of those people that would research everything. Like if you said to her, oh. "What what's 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 in you know X Y Z." She'd come back with like 750 pages of print stuff and start telling you about it. So <laughs> she got back from the hospital and she researched all her medicine and everything. There was nothing, like she said, there's nothing positive about any of this medicine. So no. we were, I was over at her house and the nurse was there and I said, so what are you supposed to do? And my mom points to the table and there's all this medicine. She goes, I'm supposed to take that. I said, are you? And then she pulls out her paper. She goes, here's, yeah. here's what I've researched, right? And I'm like, oh. Yeah. And she goes, no. 
And this is when she will say, let's just say she was 83 or 84. Yeah. So when she died at 97. Wow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. She got, and she didn't take any of that. She took nothing. The doctor said, no. she goes, why do I need that? What's it do for me? And they'd be like, well, yeah. she goes, but, and then she'd research it. And they would be like, oh, it screws up your liver. It screws up your kidney. And my mom would be like, no, I'm good. And my mom, yeah. every, every day since I, well, I, she would always have her two eggs and her coffee. That's how she started yeah. her day. And she's totally like, no problem. And I was like, oh, but, there you go. I've, I've, I've been reading about this. Um, um, you know, I, I, I told the professor that, that uh, right. oh, I have an in, uh, intelligent heart. That's good because I'm, uh, my, my head is not very intelligent. <laughs> right. so, uh, and, you know, and that's the way to live. Come on, right. be more uh, like uh, an Italian or, or, or a Spanish, you know, or, or uh, whatever. Well, not a Spanish. Not a Spanish. Okay, Italian, Italian, Italian. <laughs> Italian. Oh, mama, mama, mama. Mama mia, yeah. Eight, eighty percent of all men uh, over forty live at home. You know, ah, really? um, uh, something. Wait, um, like, uh, you got like I'm, grandpa I'm, now? Here, hold on. Let's yeah, check yeah. I'm, I'm, I gotta I'm, check uh, grandpa. Hold on. Yeah, what percentage? Not eighty. I gotta not know. eighty. What, nah, what nah, percentage nah, of men over forty live at? Home. All right, let's see what we have. This is going to be a yeah. good statistic. All right, well, here we go. There's, there isn't much information about this, but men over 40 who live at home, blah, 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 blah. In 2019, 31% of the single men lived up with their parents. Um, just so you know, so that's 31% in 2019. Yeah, yeah. In, 20, in, in 1990, it was 27%. In 2023, wow, this is interesting. In 2023, almost 19% of the men aged 25 to 34 lived in their parents' home compared to approximately 11% of the women. The average yeah. age when people move out of their parents' house now is 24 to 27. Wow, that's crazy. In yeah. 20, um, 28%, in, in June of 2023, 20% of the 40-year-old men had never married versus 22% of the women had never married. Okay, well, that was... Thanks for killing Michelle. That's on me. Um, no, anyway, no, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> and, no. And, and the eighty twenty always is always wrong. When when yeah, yeah. when I when I'm listening to a, a guy who who knows what he's speaking, at once eighty twenty comes. We we all know what it is. It is you, just a guess. You know what'd be really cool? This intelligent organ thing. I I've, I've heard of it. I read about it a little bit. Um, there's a lady who died, I must be a year ago, and I read this in, I forget what magazine, but like a real, like The Economist or some real magazine. And they said when she passed away, when they, you know, when they did her autopsy, all her organs yeah. were in where they yeah. weren't supposed to be. Like they, like they said, they were, her body was not like, if you, if, if you look at a normal body and her body, totally different. So she must have had intelligent organs that just rearranged what needed to be, which I think is fascinating. Yeah, I, I think it's very fascinating, but it's not very much online on this. Uh, the the professor gave me some links uh, right. uh, uh, together with because I wanted the movie as well, and uh, okay, <laughs> and, and and I got it. You know, if you want to see it, uh, you know, after a drink or two. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, but but the thing is that. Uh, this should make you happy. No, it's not making me happy because if if it didn't heal itself, it it would I would be dead. I, I lived yeah. the perf you know, but, but it's it's good. It's nice. But what is what he was really was telling this? It was very seldom at, at the hospital they they saw this. Wow! And right. it is because of. Uh, something with you got you get stronger um, uh, serotonin or whatever uh, right, right, right. some some uh, stuff uh, you 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 need to be happy or or, or to be okay. um, you need to be um, um, c creative c creatinine oh. or whatever so yeah create, so creative people live longer no. It doesn't it, and that was the funniest thing he said, because I said, okay, all my friends will live uh, because uh, you know uh, I have a lot of friends from the advertising 
uh, branch and he said no it, it only happens with with uh, some hmm, interesting Be because you have to have if you truly by your heart are an ad hoc guy he told yeah. it he he said the uh, the uh, name ad hoc guy if you take things if you worry about things that c might happen in right, right. one year right then you use all this time to just wait for for it to happen and it will it's it's the same way the guy who the guy the man who dies one death and there's a man who dies a thousand deaths right yeah so you worry about everything you die a thousand deaths and if you just like i said if you just play the game of life it is what yep. it is when you die you've died once so yeah it's kind of how I've, I've been since i was a kid well since i've been a kid though i had that i don't you know like go fuck yourself attitude anyway so and where i don't mm. give a fuck attitude so as i've gotten older um my mom used to joke she said my my son didn't give an f when he was like five years old and as i got mm. older my mom would joke with me she goes and you still don't i'm like no i really don't i don't really care i mean it is what has nothing i can do to change anything i just do the best i can in my little world and i'm very happy with that and but people people can be happy if they want to i don't right, think they pe to. people what they don't want to be happy right uh, okay, I, I can be, uh, you, you can ask my missus, you can ask whoever you want, uh, the 80-20 uh, the guy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or wh whatever, uh, but I'm mostly happy, That's a because good thing. I, I know myself, I know my good side, Right. it's not many of them, but I, I hold on to them. And I know my my medium, and I know my really bad side. And right, right, right. then, that's not self confidence; it's self knowledge, and that's what we are, we 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 have to we have to know it ourselves. And okay. let's say if it's it's a you know I'm a big boy, uh, and if if it's a swimming competition and. Uh, I wouldn't uh, say yes. I'm in. Well, you know, you could go in. It's, you have a good time. Yeah, but why? Why <laughs> should I? I know I, I would lose anyway. But I, I could, could compete with my uh, with myself in in, in in the bathtub. But but um, <laughs> why? But but when people get about fifty, they go hiking at the mountains. They go. Right. It's lovely if they if they uh, if they love it. Right, it's true. You got You have to enjoy what you do. And the other thing, you have to be in the moment. And the problem yeah. people have is they don't. If they're too busy doing this, so it's like when I'm out, my phone is not out. Yeah, like I'm not yeah, running yeah. to take pictures or whatever. Now, if I have to take, for lack of better, social, um, my social media, which I hate, but if I have to do social media for the show. Or one of our shows, or I have to do it for our Instagram page um, for two old farts, right? And I have to, whether it's scars or whatever, that's different. Like if I'm going with a purpose, like, oh, I need to do, like, I'll get a call from one of the guys, like Riz or whatever, yeah. like, hey, we need some social media today. I'm like, great. What do you want? Cool. And I go out with a purpose of click, 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 video, video, done. And it's like, there you go. Then I've done my social media. But for the most part, if I go do stuff, and I'm not whipping out my phone to take picture. I'm enjoying the moment that I'm like there because that's what it's about, right? Pictures are, they're nice, but really how many times do you go back and look at the pictures? You don't, yeah. right? <laughs> no, I mean, no, right. No. You know, it's I, I, like, I mean, we have photo albums when we were kids. Remember your parents would put the photo, I mean, yeah, I still yeah, have yeah. the photo albums. We've got like 17 feet of them. And I think I've gone through them maybe twice my entire yeah. life just to go back and go, yeah. oh, that was, I remember that. I, I'm like, okay. And, and it's like, now it's time to go forward. You know, it's but like. But why, uh, why look so much back and why worry so much? Right. You know, the, the song, don't worry, be happy and, and all this. It's true. It's yeah. true. Because if you set your mind, uh, of course, you know, if, if you have a lot of uh, uh, schools and, and you want to climb up and be on the top of uh, a building um, and you don't get it, you will be p 
pissed off the rest of your world. Many, ma many of them. But you can say, you can say that, okay, now I know where I am. I'm happy where I am. Right. I don't, I don't need to go to that mountain to, to Mount Everest or whatever, to, or, 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 or uh, I don't need to, uh, don't need to do anything I, you, and 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 you can enjoy solitude i do i do and, i like my i like my alone time yeah but solitude and five minutes after out talking with people i never saw yeah. before well see for me that's what this way i do with a cigar if i want to if i want to socialize yeah i go to a cigar lounge or a cigar club and i'll sit there and you and you know you're it's like a brotherhood right? we're all talking but if mm. i don't want to which is 99.9 .9 of the time i just want to be left alone i just sit by myself with my cigar and i don't care and it's just the, it's the and it's just very relaxing i don't have any stress nothing bothers yeah. me and if i'm really if i do get stressed out which happens every now and then i get my cigar i get my yeah i was gonna say bottle of scotch i get my glass of scotch i take yeah. a couple cigars and I just like them and I sit and, and all just goes away. Cause it's like, I just, you think about it. I'm like, yeah, what am I stressed about that? This, that, yeah. and this just disappears. And that's it. So and that's, it's, it works. And, and it's some, so fun. Uh, yesterday I, I'm, yeah. um, I'm helping some of the, the parents that have lost the children under the Norwegian, um, uh, Care, care system for, right. for, for, for children. But, right. and I have, a, I have a thing, as long as I can reach the people, I never ever call or make a, uh, make a, um, uh, I'm, I, I never use the, uh, uh, my iPhone or my mm -hmm. email. Right. I just go there, and we we did so yesterday with with two different uh, offices, and mm -hmm. they, the people who 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 sits there, you know, you always have to go in front of them, and I, mm -hmm. um, I think it's fun to to uh, to be. Then you have to be someone extreme, but not too right. extreme. But but you have you have to. You have to do something that others don't do, uh, whatever, and you get through. Yeah. Uh, eight of ten times you get through. Sometimes you meet someone, you know, you, you can never know who, who show upon it. But it's so lovely because you had never gotten head of, of, of these people if you were just... Uh, yeah, excuse me. I, I just want to talk with. Uh, right. Yeah, that's true. You won't meet them. Well, and that's the part that the, the thing today with people, right? They are on their phones, or they never leave their house. How do you meet? They don't meet anybody, and then they'll be like, "No, um, people are having less sex today." Well, yeah, because you're too busy at home playing, you know, Dungeons and Dragons or whatever you play on your phone, and it's yeah. like people don't go out. Like when I go out. I, I want to go out. I want to meet. I want to say hello. When I travel, it's the same thing. But when I don't want to be bothered, yeah. I just don't want to be bothered. But see, when yeah. I was, when we were growing up, you and I, it was a much different yeah. time because when we grew up, there were no cell phones. If there were no, no computers, you had to go out. Like if I wanted to go see somebody, I had to get on my bike and go for a bike ride and go see them. Yeah. Go like call them on the telephone, the landline, and go. Yeah, hey, Johnny, you want to come out and play? Great, I'll meet you outside. Or you know that's how we did it, and people don't like the kids. They they don't have a clue what it's like. No, like, no, no. Like no. I'm like they don't play. I don't see kids playing in the neighborhoods anymore. I see nothing. Now everybody says it's a different time, you know, and there's all these predators and all this, and I'm sure there are. So maybe that's why. But I'm talking about yeah. even in gated communities where I'm assuming predators don't get in unless they live there. There's no. I see a lot of basketball hoops, but I don't see any kids playing. No. I don't see kids. On the <laughs> I don't see kids fishing. I don't see kids jumping in the lake. I see none of this, and I'm like, I I see this in Norway still. Okay, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to say. But uh, what else can you do in Norway? <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. There's only seven of you anyway, and some reindeer, and that's it. 
And no, and apparently, if they, if it keeps going the way it is, there'll be no children because the child protection agency will just take them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, so they're hunting. Know. Yeah, they're hunting high, it's like high, high and kids. low. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, that was an interesting show. We should have more shows like that where we have controversial guests. Yeah, and uh, I saw you were sharpening more and more, just like you were on CNN or something. You you really liked it because you you. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw the the well, press, Stephen. <laughs> well, it was funny. I appreciate that. Thank you. What was funny is I knew nothing about our guest, so I had to read up on him when he was mm. on with us. And I was and I was reading all the negative stuff, and I was like, I don't really want to be that show that's like, oh, all these no. people say this. And I was like, so tell me about this and tell me about that. So I was, I was reading about him. I was like, oh, tell me what you did. And so, yeah, so it was, I enjoyed the show. I liked it. Um, so hopefully we can get some more guests on like that. That'll yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Have a little controversy. But but, but we we have to be honest. I am. Um, I read someplace uh, you arrest me. You you will find with, with your. Uh, but but I read someplace we are lying between ten and twenty times a day. Really, Th oh, thirteen or w w w whatever. Uh, maybe it was 13, I don't remember. Okay. But we all have our faults, and, Correct. and they go on and on and on, and you never... Okay, wait a minute, here you go, just so you, just so you know, here you go. On the average, people lie one to two times a day, um, but, uh, but the number of lies a person can vary depending on factors like age, personality, and occupation. Apparently, lawyers lie more. Um, for an example, a University of Virginia study found that community members told an average of one lie per day, while students told an average of two. However, Michigan State, of course, because in Michigan, they, all they can do is lie, um, found a study that 59% of Americans surveyed reported not lying at all in a 24-hour period. Well, there's a lie right off the bat. And those yeah. who did lie said they lied one to three times a day. The only person that should lie is Pinocchio, and it should be a girl sitting on his face yelling, lie, Pinocchio, lie. And that's I it. know. So, I know. But, yeah, but, I know. but then, then again, I use white lies. Okay. Well, white, I'm not white, I use all lies. Yeah, 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 but white, white, white uh, uh, that's my favorite. Uh, yeah, no, I know, because like a little white lie. My mom used to say it. She goes, if you tell a little white lie, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Was, was it's, it's okay. okay. To tell yeah, a little yeah. White lie. Right, right. It, 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 it comes from our parents uh, again. Yes. Uh, remember, uh, like we, we've been speaking a bit, uh, about before, if we are going out on, on the town or something and, and the right. missus is. Uh, Asking if her uh, dress well, is how okay. she looks. Yes, that's a white yeah. lie. You definitely tell. How do how do I look? You look wonderful. Like, and that's why when um, when your brother said, "Oh no, I'll tell them you should put the yellow dress over the red <laughs> dress," I'm like, that's why you're not getting laid and you have nobody with you. Um, because any smart man, when his wife comes out, whether she's wearing three band aids or an evening gown, is going to say, "You look absolutely gorgeous. Let's go." You know, the only thing yeah. you're allowed maybe to say change are your shoes. That's it. I could, that's the okay. only thing I've learned over the years you can get away with because they'll go, what do you think of the shoes? And I'll be like, oh, do you have this? And they have much. The shoes is the only thing I know that you're allowed to say change. Other than that, you can say absolutely nothing else. Maybe uh, not the handbag. Not, the shoes are okay. because Not the hair. Know. Not the hair. Oh, no, no. Not never, the hair. never. Not the, then, not then the hair, dead. not the handbag, not the dress no, or yeah, the yeah, pants yeah. or the whatever. Yeah. But the shoes or whatever, those I found, sneakers, shoes, whatever they're going to wear, you're allowed to make a suggestion. They don't get upset with that. But everything I, else, I, never. I use the Clapton method. Uh, and that is uh, always singing back. Oh, my darling, you look wonderful tonight. <laughs> and, and, and then you go through your your your, your finish. Yes, uh, not and not you, many people are finished. But... And you have a wonderful day then. Because, yeah. yeah, yeah, you don't. Because if you don't, yeah, no, no. But I found, like I said, over the years, I found that I can bring up shoes for some reason. Okay. But shoes and and if shopping. If they go, how does this look on me? You can give them an honest opinion, like it looks good or it doesn't look good. Shopping is okay, but once they've bought it, yeah, it's home. Oh, 
you can no no. But but yeah. Helga Helga, you can't argue with uh, Helga shoes. What's Helga shoes? Helga, you, when, when when you are with Helga, you know. Yeah. Oh, Helga's house of pain. Yeah. Oh, he, no, you never argue. Hilda's, yeah, 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 Hilda's yeah, house no, of pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Franchise yeah, yeah. is coming soon to Norway. Um, but okay. yeah, no, I mean, yeah, you never argue there. There, you just get a, you just get fisted, um, and it's uh, you know, or pegged, as they like to say. But yeah, it's yeah. a whole other thing, which is. Which but is people, incredible. people, why don't you start to 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 live more, uh, take more chances? Why people don't? You have to take chances, yeah. because um, well, there's no railroad in in miles away, but I can be run over by railroad just outside the door. Well, that that's would a fact. Well, that would, that, it could be sure, even though it's miles away, that train would have to derail and go really fast. Yeah, but it, it is possible. I could worry about it, <laughs> but you but you don't. It's the same reason that when you get on an airplane. <laughs> You don't worry about it. It's just you just get in the plane. You know what I mean? The only times I get worried in, in planes, if I see uh, the, the um, uh, they're both man and woman now, uh, the, the stewardess. Yeah, Flight yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Right. When they have this, you know, when, when, when you're in t oh, turbulence. Oh, turbulence, turbulence, right. Yeah, and, and, and you see they are, and they are sitting down and... Yeah, 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 strapping themselves in. But the, yeah, I, you know what? Let me tell you, I, I the, 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 the flying waitress is in the sky. I don't care if stewardesses, whatever the hell they want to be called, flight attendants, it's all bullshit. I don't know. They I don't, know. don't do, for the most part. Now, I will say, Qatar Airlines, Emirates... Their flight attendants work their asses off to make sure that you feel like you're special. Singapore mm. Air, the mm. American Airlines, like American Airlines and Delta and South, they don't do jack shit for you. It's like they don't lift mm. the. If you, they, I, I was on a flight. I want to say it was an American Airlines or a Delta flight. I think it was. I was going to New York, and I heard this flight attendant or flying stewardess, whatever the hell they're called, say to a passenger, "If you can't lift your bag, I can't lift it either." <laughs> and, this was a, and, this, and, this, and the person that couldn't lift the bag is an, el, an, el, a, an el, oh. older woman. Like, let's just say she's in her 50s or 60s. So she's not really old. But yet again, she may not be that strong. And she was sitting behind me. And I heard, and she goes, well, I don't want to. So I just stood up and go, let me get it for you. And I put it up for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. I, and the girl. Finish. That, but here's the funny thing. The girl that said it to the flight attendant must have been 23, 24. And then the flight attendant behind her was probably a 30-year-old guy. And I looked at both of them like, seriously, you're both pieces of shit because you can barely yeah. do crap. Um, and we're sitting in the front of the bus and they don't want to help us. I pity the yeah. people who sit in the cabin. Yeah. So it's like, they, but like I said, I've had people that I've known that have flown. Um, and if, I, if, I'm not, if I'm leaving your airline out, I apologize. Singapore Air, Emirates, um, and Qatar Air, or Qatar Airline. Whether you're in the front of the bus or your cattle, they they go out of their way to make it that you're <laughs> special, and and the, and the flights in America they just treat you like shit, which is really okay. pathetic. So when I watch these videos of passengers yelling at other passengers or yelling at flight attendants, I get it. I don't. I don't. I think that's the worst thing in the world. It's just like it's okay. It's whether it's one hour flight or a six hour flight. It's just. Shut up, sit there, and you know, scream into a bag. But yelling at these people isn't going to do you any good. You know, they're just. You know, you know there was a rumor because I've, I've been a lot in in, in Ireland, right, right. and um, since you are naming uh, airlines, I can do right. it as well. And and you you have an airline over there that is really cheap. Ryanair. Oh, Ryanair. Oh, yeah, there, there. Yeah, God, yeah, that's yeah, the worst. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that uh, and Ryanair. At least this professor I know in in uh, hi, I I know he's looking. <laughs> he's is one of the many viewers we have. There you go. Uh, but but um, uh, he he said that um, they had a plan, and it came out and they were not sure if you know it was never on the media but pe people right. are talking you know yeah. and that was to fix standing places yeah no that was in the media that was there was a whole bunch it, of stuff yeah 
It was okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, I said, standing he, places. Come you would on. get more because you would get more people. He said, um, but I and I think the problem was, and this is now a year old already. I can't remember if the issue was they didn't know how it would be safety wise because you can't have it like a subway where you're holding on right because there's still a landing and takeoff, so they have to strap you in. So and then he's also come up with now where you can stack almost like cubes two or three high. So people can yeah. get into like a cube. So I give them credit for that. And for the cheap airline yeah. it is, people love it. I mean, like they get there. Like in America, we have Spirit Airlines. Spirit Airlines, okay. if you fly it, that means you just want to die. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's never a good, I've never heard anybody have a good experience on Spirit Airline. It's sort of like it's like you can go from like Austin to Vegas for $39 on Spirit. That's A, if the plane takes off. That's B, if there is a plane. That's C, if you can get a seat. You can't bring your luggage in. So what they do is they say, for 30 bucks, you can get a flight. You're like, that's great. Then they start charging you for things like, oh, do you want oxygen? Do you want uh, yeah. seat? Do you want, I mean, like, so by the oh, time you're done, the $3,000 that you've paid, yeah, now you can exactly. go on your, you could have just gotten exactly. a first class ticket with anybody else. Um, and now exactly. Southwest in America, Southwest Airlines used to be, um, they boarded by, Numbers. It'd be like numbers one through thirty. You board, then thirty-one through whatever. I yeah. boarded numbers. They didn't give you a seat assignment. As of November, they're going to start assigning seat numbers, which kind of takes that oh. mystique away. Which everybody loves Southwest because it was sort of like you bought a a business plus ticket. You were one of the first ten people or fifteen people to board, and then there was the next mm. and the next and the next. Now it's going to be like every other airline. So it's because they're they're upset that they lost money in a quarter. So now they think that's going to fix it. I think it's going to hurt them more than fix it. But airline travel in America just sucks in general. So, yeah, you know, because I'm just I'm just happy I, I have my ring. I just uh, you know accidentally when when they are coming by, I'm just doing like this uh, from yeah. time to time. And sir, do you want uh, we we have a seat available? Uh, you know, nice. Longer in front, if you want to. Wow, that's very nice. I have to buy my longer in fronts. Everybody I travel with is like five foot nothing. So when I'm like, okay. and they can sit in economy, and they're like all skinny, and they're for them economy is like first class. I'm like, yeah, I'm six one, and I'm a big guy. Sitting mm. in a, a cattle with my knees in my face is not comfortable. I will pay the extra to go and sit in front of the bus because I would like to be comfortable. You know what I'm flying. I'll, I don't want to sit there dying. Maybe you can investigate this because sure. we don't want to have uh, lies, only white lies. But uh, yeah. I believe that uh, Russia and the earlier, uh, we don't call it Eastern Europe any longer. It's not uh, the right yeah, way enough. to say Eastern it. Eastern Europe. But, <laughs> but, but, but you, know, you know what I mean. I yeah. think they, these countries had the most crashes. Uh, on on um, oh, on because planes? yeah I I took a sixteen seater from uh, Bucharest to to north uh, northern Romania and there okay. was a there was a, this big guy sitting in front like this in in front of the door to to the pilots and. It was, it was um, uh, very, very windy, light plane, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. shit, it, it went like this. And even is, even was very, uh, he's not that anymore, but he was very, very worried. And this guy, we, we lightened him up, you know, after yeah. a while, and he gave us uh, drinks. <laughs> Yeah. So, but but the thing is, it was um, uh, so sandy, you know, uh, sand um, uh, storm. Right. It it was a sandstorm. So suddenly, when when the plane went, it, and then down. Right. Ooh, right. Ooh, but we were all drunk. All the sixteen of yeah, us. No, uh, when you're drunk, everything is good. <laughs> even, even even the children were drunk. I, I guess. Well, the children should always be drunk and duct tape. Yeah, that's just me. So here you go. Um, 
the here that in an article Business Day highlights ten countries with the most aviation accidents in the world. The United States is number one, Russia is two, Brazil is three, Canada is four, Colombia is five, United Kingdom is six, seven is Indonesia, eight is France. Um, I know I said ten, but that's what it gave me. Let me see if I can pick up two more for you here. Um, hmm. That is it. Yeah, United States, Russia, Brazil, Canada, Colombia, United Kingdom, Indonesia, France, Mexico, okay. and India are the ones okay. with the um, with the most okay. airplane crashes. There you go. So now, you, in, in, and that's not counting the ones that they blow up. So there you go. But but you you are lucky enough to have the Hudson River, so it's. Well, that was yeah, miracle on the Hudson when the, when the, that flight went down. That was uh, that was incredible. We 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 saw it on TV uh, here That's, as well. I, I was I was I remember I was watching it, and somebody said something, and I said, "No, that's New York," and they go, "What do you mean?" I go, "Everybody, whether you were black or white or green or purple or whatever, whether you were straight or gay or any other thing, whatever there's out there, everybody went to go help those people in the plane." Everybody. It wasn't. It didn't matter. They. You didn't no. care if you were making five dollars a year or fifty no, no, dollars no. a year. Everybody went to go help that plane, yeah. and it was like boom. That's New York. Yeah. When New York when it's and when a disaster happens in New York, it's amazing. Everything goes yeah. away in a second. It's like it's New York. We're all New Yorkers at that point. You got to go help each other. So okay. that's the yeah. best part about yeah. New York. So that was what they did. They did that nine eleven as well. When nine eleven happened. You know, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Everybody was there. Everyone's like, we're gonna, we have to help each other. But so, what, what was nine eleven really? That's a, that's a whole nother show. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's uh, a two or three hour topic on what nine eleven was, and between the conspiracy theories and realities, and you know, different things. Yeah. And I, that's a whole show unto itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, so that was good. Well, this was fun, my friend. It was good to see you, and, and we're also going to see you this week on um, the Grandpa Show, huh? Yeah, I hope so. He's um, he's doing a he's show tomorrow. He, he to he's it? he's helping a friend. Oh really? These days, What's he doing? Yeah. yeah, helping a female or male? Male, male. Oh, well, male person. Okay. Yeah. It was a female friend. I'd get excited for him. But but even is too kind. I I remember my mother and father said, "You should be a priest." Uh, he acts like one sometimes, so you know. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no, but he, he, he's he's so kind that even if uh, you know, I, I've been traveling so much with him. Right. He buys uh, relatively expensive watches. Yeah. And every time we were out flying uh, on a business meeting, he came back without a watch. Oh, because he gives it to somebody. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's good. Yeah, because nice. he he had but uh, you know we were as i told you we were rich we were poor we were in the middle i i, I like the middle best really i don't know yeah the rich was being <sighs> people you thought that people looked up to you but they really looked down on you i think i have i have friends who are we call them lucky sperm clubs and have stupid money and they uh, mm. and I, people look down on them because they never worked a day in their life and they have the stupid homes and yeah. the stupid cars and whatever then i have guys like me that we've worked and we've made our own and and by looking at us you would never tell because we don't wear no. anything designer we don't we just just go out it's no big deal money yeah. it's the old joke is you know money doesn't buy happiness but it brings an occasional smile to your face that's all it yeah. does and that's what people don't understand. It's just it's it's okay. So you can fly in the front of the bus. All right, that's fine. But 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 also the 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 term of uh, economical problems mm -hmm. are much larger when when you're rich. Not because really. that uh, yeah, well, come on. If no. uh, 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 as an individual, if you're losing on the stock market. Yeah, but it, I did. But serious. But then again, no. It's just because if you're dumb enough to put all your assets in that, then you deserve in you one deserve. basket. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's that's why they do asset allocation, right? That's why you have money, if you will, in the market. I guess they can consider yeah. so, uh, crypto algorithms now a uh, part of it. So you'd have you have that basket. You've got cash. You have real estate. Um, you have sugar babies and mistresses. They just always do gold. Um, gold yeah, is gold important. Is an asset class. Yeah, I mean, so I think it just depends on. Um, what the asset class is that you want to put your money in. And I think that's just how it goes. 
So yeah, so I, I think it's Goldman yeah. Sachs. Goldman Sachs, yeah, good. Bank, the government's bank. So yeah, that's a whole other story. That's a, that's a that's a that's a whole other that's a whole other show as well. Yeah, yeah, um, it's, it's a lot well, of shows. Week, if I if I remember correctly on the on our crazy grandpa or ADHD grandpa show, we're going to talk about um, the Middle East. So I can't wait to hear what oh. big belief stories he's got coming out of there. So that's going to be an interesting show. Yeah, I'll be good. just remember. Room. We have to remember the twenty, uh, the eighty twenty rule. Yeah, well, that's why every time Crazy Grandpa speaks, we check the facts live. So, um, yeah, when we do the show. We'll we'll be checking the facts as he speaks because you know he tends to forget a few things. So I want to make sure that we. Yeah, uh, but he he was up. right the the other time. Uh, he the, got the one other thing day. right. I was very impressed. He finally got one statistic correct. <laughs> and that was. Uh, <laughs> but but like, that. Way to go. But that was really, uh, I didn't believe it. Yeah, neither did I. So that's why I check everything he says. So, so I do I do it so the show stays honest. I also check it yeah. because I don't want fans of the show to be like, ah, you know, like, it, granted, uh, he's, our, he's our conspiracy theory guy, but I still mm -hmm. want to make sure that when he says something that we can get it as yeah. much to the statistical analysis or the facts that are proper and we're not just pulling shit out of our bum. So, you yeah. know, so Do you have a sunny day? You should go out with your dog and um, we, already did. we already did our we already worked I already worked out. The dog and I have already gone for the run and okay. uh, now I'm gonna do conference calls and create hatred with people around the world, you know, which I enjoy. And uh, then yeah. I'll have a cigar. <laughs> yeah. Have, have a cigar. Have My a friend, cigar. it's always I, good to see you. Have a wonderful I have day. One. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I have one of the Nicaraguan. Uh, oh, there you go. go. Nicaraguan. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, my friend. I'll okay. see you next week. I'll see you later. With, Thank uh, you so much. And goodbye. you people out there, come on. Give us some comments. Be, be with us. Come on. Uh, yeah. What do, do you have a number? Under no, you can't give a phone number. But you we can don't, give yeah, a. No, they can just add it, comments. All they can do is like and add comments. That's it. Yeah, but add in the comments your um, uh, Gmail your or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> add your phone number. We'll call you. <laughs> so there you go. And, and right, your, um, yeah. <laughs> See, it's it's okay. okay. Cheers. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Yeah. <laughs>